This section of the DVD relates to how we name the sides in a right angle triangle. In any right angle triangle, the 90 degrees or right angle should be obvious, or it's marked with the square here. There will be another angle given, in this case a 30 degrees, and that will establish the name of the sides. The longer side here, labelled in purple with the Z next to it, is called the hypotenuse. And in any right angle triangle, the longer side is always called the hypotenuse. Of the two smaller sides, the one that's next to the given angle, in this case the one in red called Y, is called adjacent because that's next to the 30 degrees and adjacent means next to. The side labelled with the X is called the opposite side because that's away from the angle. It doesn't actually touch the 30 degree angle. Now what happens though if that 30 degree angle wasn't given and perhaps we had a 60 degree angle in the top right hand corner? That would probably change the name of the sides. Well it doesn't affect the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right angle triangle and that's still the one marked with a Z. The side that's called the adjacent is now the side with the X on it marked here in green because that's the one that's now next to the angle. So adjacent is determined by which side is next to the angle. The opposite is the side away or opposite the angle so that's changed as well and in this case it's marked in red with the Y. At this point it's recommended that you pause the DVD and see if you can guess the names for each of the sides. Remember M, P or Q will be named opposite, adjacent or hypotenuse. Here are the answers to the first example. The side which is the longest side and it's the one that's away from the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle marked 28 degrees is called the opposite and the side next to the 28 degrees is called the adjacent side. Pause the DVD again and see if you can work out the sides here. Here are the answers to this example. First of all find where the 62 degrees is. The side next to that is called the adjacent. The side opposite is called the opposite side. Now the hypotenuse is next to the 62 degree angle as well, but because that's the longest side and that's the one away from the right angle, that's always labelled the hypotenuse.